Co-main event, Demir Ismagulov coming in at minus 110 against Grant Dawson, plus 110 for Dawson. Over, under, two and a half rounds, minus 202 for the over, plus 202 for the under. 4-0-1 oh, in his last five for Grant Dawson. 4-1 and one in his last five for Demir Ismagulov. 24-2 and two for the man. Obviously coming off the loss to Armand Sarukyan and uh, kind of got... Just, just controlled for a lot of the fight, and it was it was a, a good performance for Armin Sarukian, and uh, not like a, a big letdown for Demirius Magula, but I kind of expected more from him. He got 30-27 on every scorecard. Didn't take a ton of damage, but just couldn't really find his way off the, the ground or off the cage. And uh, coming in this one against Grant Dawson, uh, who also trains an American top team, Maybe that's uh, a little something to believe in there. If you like the the dog in this one, in Grant Dawson, another grappler who wants to get it to the ground, um, had showed really good wrestling in his last time out against Mark Madsen, who was you know the Olympic wrestler, um, and he got the, the third round rear naked choke. That's back to back third round rear naked chokes for Grant Dawson. So he's gonna grind you, and uh, he he's really gonna look to take you to the ground and use his jujitsu. And uh, it could be effective here, but, I mean, you're going against a, Ka- a Kazakhstan fighter. And uh, that's, not, that's not like a great bet to be like, yeah, this guy's going to go and sub a, a guy from Kazakhstan. So, yeah, it's a, it's a tough one to me. I mean, I, I think it's fairly priced. I would maybe think Ismagulov would be a little bit bigger of a favorite just, just based off the, the experience and uh, how well he's, he's looked in fights against like Guram Kutat and uh, Tiago Moises, Joel Alvarez, like those are some big names. And uh, coming off a loss to Armin Sarukian is, is nothing to like hang your head about. What are you thinking? Yeah, no, I'm looking at the names he's beaten too for uh, Demir Ismagulov. I mean, Guram, you beat him by split decision, but that's a dude who a lot of people are super, super high on. Uh, Rafael Alves, Tiago Moises, like that's a really good win there too. And then I look at his record. I'm like, man, 24 and two is such a nice record. Like this dude's legit. And then you look at Grant Dawson, he's 19 and one. So his record is just as impressive. I mean, both of these guys have only lost a combined three fights out of, you know, over 40 fights total. So that's pretty crazy. Um, Grant Dawson, though, he's got to stay on the wrestling for three rounds. He can't give up a couple of rounds and then, um, you know, pull something off late. Like he's got to, he's got to put on the gas the whole entire time. But Demir Ismagulov has seen a lot of different styles, um, a lot of grapplers, guys who want to get the fight to the ground, and he's beat them. And he's solid on the feet, too. He's solid everywhere it goes. But the one thing that concerns me is after Demir Ismagulov's last fight, he started, I believe he retired, correct, after Armand? Yep. And then realized he has one fight left on his UFC contract, and he's back to, to fight again. So I hate guys that are talking about retirement and um, are kind of one foot in, one foot out, because you don't know how hard they're training. If they know this might be their last fight, are they just trying to get one more paycheck? Um, So it's kind of concerning there a little bit. If this fight does go to the ground, Grant Dawson, as far as the submission game in jujitsu, should have the edge, but, I mean, Demir's no slouch in the the grappling department either. He averages over one takedown a fight. He's got a 75% takedown defense. So it's it's super interesting. It, it's all going to come down to where this fight takes place. If it's on the feet, I, I kind of lean Ismagulov. And if it goes to the ground and Dawson has good position or can get on top, I lean Dawson. So um, I do have a weird feeling, though, that this fight might play out on the feet a lot more than Grant Dawson wants. And if so, I, I think he could lose a decision here. So um, for my pick, I'm going to stick with Ismagulov. I'm going to trust that he's been training and wants to get a win and uh, improve that record a little bit to 25 and two, but betting wise, I'm not sure. So sure what I'm doing yet. I'm, I'm going to wait till later in the week to see what the lines do. Uh, it looks like a little bit of money is coming on, on Demir here. So um, lines near pick them and Demir's got a little bit more money on them. So pretty fair line. I'd say I'm going to stick with Demir right now. Yeah, I'm torn here. Cause I really believe in Grant Dawson. Uh, for the future, I mean, he's 29 years old, and the ground game is is really good. And uh, I think the the game on the feet is getting better, and I trust uh, his training at American Top Team. It seems like he's getting some really good work in there. I know he's big uh, training partners with Tiago Moises. So I I think 
he has the tools to go in there and get a win. Uh, but Demir is just so well rounded, and I think with him flirting with retirement, I'm going to go with Grant Dawson uh, for the sake of the pick. Don't know if there's enough to to put a bet on it uh, at this moment, but yeah, I'll, I'll take him for the pick, and I'll keep an eye on the the line as the week goes on. 